in order to handle external uncertainty or chaos we need to have internal certainty or stability or we say stable mind so that we continue on the path of progress philosophy and materialism are not two extreme things but they are the complementary and both together create fulfilled life the life is a balance of two opposing forces an external environment is constantly changing and it is creating that effect on our emotions and that is creating internal turbulence we are constantly get tossed by the external situations and our mind is constantly fluctuating or not stable and that is creating all our internal or mental problems and the basic message of spirituality or yoga is how to tame that mind which is moving at a speed faster than wind how to tame that mind so that our internal experience or our mental state of mind when facing all our external situations as well as challenges as well as chasing our material goals how can we live how can we better our experience of life today the situation is that after possessing material things having all those material things in our life yeah we are not happy or we are mentally sick and that is the problem worldwide only because we have not focused on our internal development we focused all our atten- attention externally and our mind is also externally focused and mainly it compares our life with others and also gives us negative feedbacks so mind is always negative or it is it follows the requirements of our ten- tendencies of our senses and it keeps growing it is never satisfied and it takes control of our mind body and intellect and that is the situation when the human is in pain or he or she loses his discriminatory ability and feels that pain or feels that meaninglessness in life so the whole message of yoga is how to enjoy material world without getting affected or keeping our mind stable and that is the message of krishna krishna went through all difficulties in his life throughout his life and it is not like that every time he got the result he wanted however he was totally committed and involved in the process keeping his 
mind blissful and that that is the message of bhagavad gita krishna brought bhagavad gita from jungles or from rushis to the battle field that is our life we are facing this internal conflict every day to live the life and whether we achieve something or not we feel that inner turbulence and that vacuum within us so how to make the life fulfilled irrespective of external situation this is the message of bhagavad gita and the way to do is yoga yoga means your connection with the brahman or the life force we lose that connection and that's why it is all turbulence within us our life force is capable strong enough to guide us to the right path and help us always to overcome those situations however we have lost that ability to listen to the inner voice and that is yoga all about connecting to oneself and getting guidance directly from the source